Working out has such a big impact on your personality, your confidence, just in the way that you carry yourself, and that's immeasurable. My name is Mark Mammon, and I'm a master's graduate from the University of Michigan, and I'm also a pre-doctoral candidate at the School of Kinesiology at the University of Michigan. So I've been physically active since I could walk, <laughs> and my goals change depending on what I am doing at the time. So for instance, like my entire life I was a dancer, so it was all about cardio and the little bit of strength that I needed to do lifts. But outside of that, now that I'm no longer a dancer, I'm trying to bulk up. So it includes lifting a lot of heavy weights and lots of eating. Mentally, I feel better. I feel like I can take on the day. Granted, there's still challenges and the day may still be difficult, but if I get my activity, my exercise in, then I know that this day will be okay. I'm Rhonda Gimo. I am a yoga teacher and Pilates instructor. I'm a certified yoga teacher, ERYT 200, and a classically trained Pilates instructor, 600 hour. Originally, I was brought to yoga with one of my friends. She had asked if I would attend a class with her, and she hadn't taken a class in studio, and neither had I, so it sounded like fun. And I was drawn to Pilates because of another friend who is an instructor, and she was helping me train for a marathon to qualify for Boston. I decided to become a teacher because it just felt natural. I have been a mentor or I've been coaching ever since I was quite young. Right out of college, I coached volleyball for a high school team. I coached for a club team. And then after I got my interest to broaden, I felt I needed to move into a teaching space as my career. And I was in the corporate world for many years and I felt like I had fulfilled in the corporate world what I was looking for and I was ready to dedicate my time to teaching Pilates and yoga. Most of the benefits that I've seen have not been like physical changes. Like I haven't really noticed myself become too much stronger but my confidence is like through the roof now. And I feel so good about myself knowing that I'm putting in the work and just every single day trying to move the needle a little bit further in reaching my goals. I've noticed the impact of physical activity for my students, whether it's yoga or Pilates or even some of their activities and exercises they do outside of the studio or outside of their home. It can be walking with friends. It may be while they're on vacation, they try something new in exercise or outdoor that they feel not just physically better, but more confident, maybe a little less anxious and I think there tends to be a misconception in order to participate in something that you have to be good. And it just needs to make you feel good. Some advice that I would give to dispel a lot of the misconceptions around physical activity and just lifestyle changes is that when you make such drastic changes, it's okay to make them, but the problem comes in how most people make them. When you're gonna make really big changes, you have to implement them slowly because it doesn't matter if you hit your goals of losing 15 pounds in six months, if after you reach that goal and you are no longer on whatever program lifestyle you were on, then you end up just gaining 10 of those 15 pounds right back. My advice to college students would be that sometimes you just won't have the time. Like you only have 24 hours in a day and at least five of those you gotta sleep. But if you really want something and you have a goal, you're gonna figure out a way to make it happen. My recommendation to college students who feel they don't have the time to work out or engage in any physical activity is to simply ask what would make you feel better and if you don't have an answer, turn to physical activity.